Hi, my name is Kitty Gurkin Rosati, and I'm the nutrition director of the Rice Diet Program. It's a center that started in 1939, and for the last 20 years of the 72 it's been running, I've been the nutrition director, written four books about the Rice Diet Program, uh, and one with my husband, which was a New York Times bestseller, The Rice Diet Solution. And we teach a diet there. It's a philosophy where you not only eat the optimal food for reversing every risk factor of heart disease, but also you look at underpinnings, emotional and spiritual underpinnings, as far as why you aren't doing what you know you really want to do for your health. I think the biggest obstacle for people uh, creating the change they want in their life is to understand how they're creating what they don't want and that they are. Um, many people come to the Rice Diet Program to lose weight and to look better. They'll come before a wedding or a special event in hopes that they uh, get to looking good for the photo shot. Um, but then after they're there a week or two, they start to realize that they're there to promote their health and reverse chronic disease. So um, it's a it's an evolutionary process and it's hard to say for some people they get that epiphany or aha in yoga class some can do it in tai chi meditation um, in a community sharing group we have confidential groups where people get honest with themselves and others so at some point of slowing down and focusing on themselves they start to realize uh, that they really do want health and a full life more than anything on the Rice Diet Program, people eat whole foods. They come in and start by what we call phase one. It's all grains and all fruit is included in that. People call it the rice and fruit stage, but uh, it's really any grain and any fruit. It's the lowest sodium two food groups there are, so that's why initially it was instituted back in 1939 because we're treating hypertensives and uh, kidney patients, so they needed to be as low in sodium as possible because there were no diuretics or hypertensive meds. Um, or, or dialysis machines. So people had to do that or they were dead by the age of 40 typically. Um, uh, we've maintained that because we think it's a good fasting program or detox entry stage. Um, I know for myself, I was already a semi-vegetarian. I'd been eating whole foods since 1972 when my dad died at 50 of a heart attack and I was 18. So I'd already been eating whole foods for 15 years before coming to the Rice Type program and I realized after four months, four weeks of doing just grains and just fruit, I found myself at a bakery eating a brownie. And I was three-fourths away through it before my brain said, this isn't rice and fruit, and what am I doing here? And uh, who tricked me? It was almost like I went to blame state. And then I realized, no, I drove myself here, and I didn't even know what I was doing. And I ate the brownie because somebody just hurt my feelings. So that's when I started putting it together that this isn't just about uh, calories, grams of fat, milligrams of sodium, and cholesterol. This is about us reacting to food and feeling better instantly by forcing things into our mouth that we don't even know we're doing. So that was the process for me, and I'm not sure I would have reached that aha, even though I'd been a registered dietitian for years and had gone to eating work workshops where we talked about people having eating for emotional reasons. I never thought I did, being an optimally weighted uh, di dietitian, vegetarian, triathlete, I didn't think that was about me until that moment when I found myself eating a brownie and I didn't even know that I was doing it. Um, so for me that was a, a pivotal point in my transition of awareness about food and why I'm eating. And so when people say, oh, I don't want to do grains and fruit, I want to just go to vegetables, I'll tell them that story and say, you can just go to vegetables if you want. But for me, it was a turning point because it's, it's kind of like a fast. If you've ever fasted from foods, whether it was a juice fast or some people actually do water ones, but um, I fasted for a couple of days before and it, it's, a, it's a major growth curve in your consciousness about food and when and why and where you, you consume it. Um, so it's not a requirement that the Rise Step program, people can come in and start with vegetables, but uh, our recommendation is that you eat grains and fruit for the half, first half your stay, then graduate to vegetables, and then people who choose to can eat fish on Saturdays. Long-term compliance is a problem for anybody that has had a weight issue or high blood pressure or any diet-induced uh, chronic disease risk factor or disease period. And I think that um, the, what helps people for the long haul is to look a little deeper than the macronutrients and to look at why they're overeating and why they're using food to cope. Um, that's a big part of what we teach as well as offering the optimal diet. 
Um, our data shows, now granted it's anecdotal, we call people on the phone, we don't fly to the many different countries of people that come and weigh them on the same scale, which would not be practical, but we call them after they've been gone at one year, two year, three year, out to six, and we have the best long-term data we've seen documented six years after leaving a um, one-month immersion program such as this. So we're doing something right. Um, of course, it could always be improved, and you can always argue that uh, you can't trust a dieter to be speaking the truth when they're on a phone and you can't weigh them. So, um, and all that's true. But as far as enhancing people's success long-term, I think staying away from high fat, high salt, high sugar foods as much as possible is a no-brainer. And eating whole foods that haven't been processed um, is the other piece of the puzzle. Um, also staying in community and touching base, whether it's with the McDougal program or the Rice Up program or 12-step Overeaters Anonymous. Some group where you can be accountable, get on the scale, have your blood pressure taken, address whatever issue that you need to address and, and get honest with yourself instead of um, forgetting to weigh for a year and gaining 50 pounds. <laughs> I mean, um, it's easy to be in denial and if you have a place to be accountable. Um, we've had people buy one of my four books, and a $20 book, and go to the forum that's free on our website, www.ricediet.com, and I've had over a dozen people lose over 100 pounds. And just communicating with other people on the internet can really be the lifesaver uh, that people need to, to stay afloat. But it's not easy to swim upstream and be the salmon and the, the river going uh, with strong current the other way. And when you're living in a developed nation with access and uh, to anything you want to eat um, and the pressure to do so, it really uh, takes a discipline and a practice. And whether that be yoga, meditation, journalizing, um, going to a free forum, uh, going to quarterly retreats with the McDougals uh, or the Rosati's at the Rice Diet Program, realizing that to be different takes effort and um, uh, you're worth the effort. Just go to www.ricediet.com and there's a click for the store and we have the best selection and the best prices I've seen um, on no salt added, uh, low sugar or no sugar as much as possible, organic, optimal foods. Um, so that's at your access. We have one month packages where you can uh, buy all the books and all the CDs. I've done teleseminars that talk people through it. So when you get home and you plug in um, binge, uh, a binge assistance uh, CD or uh, the diet to looking at the whole person instead of just the diet, plug in whatever you need to hear that day to get a refresher course. All that's available as well as the free forum, as well as free webinars. We do those every other month. Um, we do quarterly uh, retreats and, and panel discussions. So there's a lot of free, and there's a free newsletter, so there's a lot of uh, uh, supplements and addendums on the website that you can just print out and use and tell your friends about. So The word diet in America com originally came from the word dieta in Greek. It was uh, ancient Greek, and it means way of life. It's not just a no salt added, no sugar, or low fat, whole foods, organic local preferred diet, which it is. It's also uh, learning about who you are, why you're here, learning the joy of exercise, the importance of being outside, listening to music, journalizing. All these things have health benefits and they're free. <laughs> and once you learn the tools, we just uh, believe that you get these tools in a toolbox and you have a much better chance of succeeding long term out there in the world that uh, seems to be set on self-destruction. So um, I would just like to encourage everybody to take the time it takes to re-energize themselves and to seek the paradigm shift that it takes to, to be your own best friend and co-create the health you want. Um, if people want to come to the Rice Diet program uh, for a month uh, immersion or for one to two weeks, but we prefer a month, you do something habitually for a month, it really starts to get into your neurons and you start to think, oh, this is normal, and then you realize how good it feels. And to experience that with us, uh, you just go to www.ricediet.com and it uh, leads you to a phone number, but it's... Um, uh, and ask for Jane. She lines up all your travel plans and um, where you're going to stay there. There are a few hotels within a mile so it's uh, that have shuttles, so if you don't want to drive, you don't have to. And um, uh, 
it's been there for 72 years, so we're, we're there interested in helping you. We have the best endocrinologist and cardiologist I've ever worked with, and my fellow dietitian's amazing. So um, our joy is to help people help themselves.